Hello and welcome to Cloud Nana's journey part 11 of Azure Solutions Architect Real Exam Questions and Answers with Explanation and you can also find reference links in the description. To become an Azure Solutions Architect, you must pass AZ104 and AZ305 exam. You can also go through AZ104 exam video series and links are available in the description. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to Cloud Learners journey channel to help you pass AZ305 exam and become an Azure Solutions Architect. Question number one, you have an on-premises network and an Azure subscription. The on-premises network has several branch offices. A branch office in Toronto contains a virtual machine named VM1 that is configured as a file server. Users access the shared files on VM1 from all the offices. You need to recommend a solution to ensure that users can access the shared files as quickly as possible if the Toronto branch office is inaccessible. What should you include in the recommendation? And the options are a recovery services vault and Windows server backup. B. Azure Block Containers and Azure File Sync. C. Recovery Services Vault and Azure Backup. D. Azure File Sync and Azure File Share. D. Azure File Share and Azure File Sync. And the correct option is D. An Azure File Share and Azure File Sync. Azure File Sync enables to centralize organization file shares in Azure files while maintaining local access to the data. In this scenario, you can use Azure File Sync to synchronize the shared files on VM1 to an Azure File Share. This ensures that the later versions of the files are available in Azure. Next, question number two. You are designing an application that will aggregate content for users. You need to recommend a database solution for the application. The solution must meet the following requirements. Support SQL commands. Support multi-master writes. Guarantee low latency read operations. What should you include in the recommendations? Options are A. Azure Cosmos DB SQL API. B. Azure SQL database that use Active Geo replication. C. Azure SQL database hyperscale. D. Azure database for PostgreSQL. And correct option is A. Azure Cosmos DB SQL API. With Cosmos DB's multi master writes replication protocol, every region supports both writes and reads. The multi region writes capability also enables unlimited elastic write and read scalability, 99.999% read and write availability all around the world. Next, question number three. You need to design a highly available Azure SQL database that meets the following requirements. First requirement, failover between replicas of the database must occur without any data loss. Second requirement, the database must remain available in the event of a zone outage. Third requirement, cost must be minimized. Which deployment option should you use? And the options are A. Azure SQL database serverless B. Azure SQL database business critical C. Azure SQL database basic D. Azure SQL database standard and the correct option is Azure SQL Database Serverless. Azure SQL Database Serverless allows for zone redundant configuration. This feature utilizes Azure Availability Zones to replicate databases across multiple physical locations within Azure region. By selecting Zone Redundancy, you can make your serverless database resilient to a much larger set of failures, including the catastrophic data center outage without any change of the application logic. Next, question number four. You are designing an application that will be hosted in Azure. The application will host video files that range from 50 MB to 12 GB. The application will use certificate-based authentication and will be available to users on the internet. You need to recommend a storage option for the video files. The solution must provide the fastest speed performance and must minimize storage costs. What should you recommend? And the options are A. Azure Files B. Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 C. Azure Blob Storage D. Azure SQL Database And the correct option is Azure Blob Storage. Blob storage stores large amount of unstructured data such as text or binary data that can be accessed from anywhere in the world via HTTP or HTTPS. You can also use blob storage to expose data publicly to the world or to store application data privately. Next question number five. You have an app named App1 that uses an on-premises Microsoft SQL Server database named DB1. You plan to migrate DB1 to an Azure SQL managed instance. You need to enable customer managed transparent data encryption for the instance. The solution must maximize encryption strength. Which type of encryption algorithm and key length should you use for the TDE protocol? And the options are A. RSA3072 B. AES256 C. RSA4096 D. RSA2048 And the correct options are A. RSA3072 D. RSA2048 TDE protocol can only be asymmetric RSA or RSA HSM key. The supported key lengths are 2048 bytes and 3072 bytes. Next question number 6. You are planning an Azure storage solution for sensitive data. The data will be accessed daily. The data set is less than 10 GB. You need to recommend a storage solution that meets the following requirements. 
First requirement, all the data written to storage must be retained for five years. Second requirement, once the data is written, the data can only be read. Modifications and deletions must be prevented. Third requirement, after five years, the data can be deleted but never modified. Fourth requirement, data access charges must be minimized. What should you recommend? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. For storage account type, option is general purpose V2 with hot access tier for blobs. And for second answer area, configuration to prevent modifications and deletions, container access policy. Immutable storage for Azure Blob storage enables users to store business critical data in a write once read many state. While in a write once read many state, data cannot be modified or deleted for a user specified interval. By configuring immutability policy for Blob data, you can protect your data from overwrites and deletes. Next, question number seven. You plan to deploy an Azure SQL database that will store personally identifiable information. You need to ensure that only privileged users can view the PAI. What should you include in the solution? And options are a dynamic data masking, B role based access control, C data discovery and classification, D transparent data encryption TDA. And the correct option is A dynamic data masking. Dynamic data masking limits sensitive data exposure by masking it to non privileged users. Question 8. You have an Azure Active Directory tenant named Contestor.com that has a security group named Group 1. Group 1 is configured for assigned membership. Group 1 has 50 members, including 20 guest users. You need to recommend a solution for evaluating the membership of Group 1. The solution must meet the following requirements. First requirement, the evolution must be repeated automatically every three months. Second requirement, every member must be able to report whether they need to be in Group 1. Third requirement, users who report that they do not need to be in group 1 must be removed from group 1 automatically. Fourth requirement, users who do not report whether they need to be in group 1 must be removed from group 1 automatically. What should you include in the recommendation? And the options are A. Implement Azure AD Identity Protection B. Change the membership type of group 1 to dynamic user C. Create an access review D. Implement Azure AD Privileged Identity Management And the correct option is C. Create an access review an access review is an Azure AD feature that enables administrators to review group memberships and application assignments. And it also allows group members to confirm whether they are still require access or not. Next question number nine. You have an on-premises app named App1. Customers uses App1 to manage digital majors. You plan to migrate App1 to Azure. You need to recommend a data storage solution for App1. The solution must meet the following image storage requirements. First requirement, encrypt images at rest. Second requirement, allow files up to 50 MB. Third requirement, manage access to the images by using Azure Web Application Firewall on Azure Front Door. The solution must meet the following customer account requirements. First requirement, support automatic scale out of the storage. Second requirement, maintain the availability of App1 if a data center fails. Third requirement, support reading and writing data from multiple Azure regions. Which service should you include in the recommendation for each type of data? Services are Azure Blob Storage, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL Database, Azure Table Storage. For image storage, Azure Blob Storage. And for customer accounts, Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Front Door accelerates the delivery of static content from Azure Storage Blobs and enables a secure and scalable architecture. Multiple region writes and data distribution to any Azure region with just the button. Next, question 10. You have an on-premises Microsoft SQL Server database named SQL1. You plan to migrate SQL1 to Azure. You need to recommend a hosting solution for SQL1. The solution must meet the following requirements. First requirement, support the deployment of multiple secondary read-only replicas. Second requirement, support automatic replication between primary and secondary replicas. Third requirement, support failover between primary and secondary replicas within a 15-minute recovery time objective. What should you include in the solution? Answer area. For Azure service or service tier, it's Azure SQL database. And for replication mechanism, it's Active Geo replication. For read only replicas, read scale with 1 to 4 high availability replicas or 1 to 30 named replicas and 0 to 4 geo replicas. To support 15 minutes RTO, only manual failover can meet the requirements. Manual database failover refers to failover of a single database to its geo replicated secondary using unplanned mode. Thank you for watching part 11 of Azure Solutions Architect PL exam questions and answers. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and comment to our channel for more related topics. We look forward to continuing the journey with you in next videos. Thank you.